Hi everyone, I'm Kai from Wondershare Demo Creator and you are watching the third episode of our series Ultimate User Guide for Beginners. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit that bell button because we're updating a series of episode of user guide videos for beginners. So do follow us to learn more. Now today's video is for those of you who want to learn video editing. And even if you don't have any video editing experience, after watching this video, you will be able to make professional looking videos easily. So let's get straight to it. Here I have already downloaded the latest version of Wondershare Demo Creator. If you are new to our platform, simply follow the link in the description below to download and install the software. Now let's launch this magical tool. This is the opening interface that you will see. Since we'll be talking about video editing today, here we go with the video editor. A new project has been created and we can start editing. First of all, we'll need to import our media files into Demo Creator. You see the plus sign here? Click on it and select whether you want to import a single file or a complete folder. Then browse through your computer and find the images, videos, audio or PowerPoint that you want to import. Let me import a video as an example. Now drag the video clip onto the timeline below to start your edit. So are you ready? Because it's time to start editing. First, let's see the amazing effects of Demo Creator which you can add to your files. Click on the effects section from the toolbar here to see the list of multiple effects. Let's use the pan and zoom effects. Drag and drop the effect on your video file in the timeline. And done. You can now elongate this cursor on the video to lengthen the time of the effect or place it anywhere you want on the video. And if we double click on it, the advanced settings of this effect will be opened. Here you can adjust your zoomed area size, your place or shape. When you apply the pan and zoom effect, the rest of the video after the effect will be played in the zoomed part. But what if you want to focus on a specific part of a video clip? In that case, you'll need to split the video clip first and then add the pan and zoom effect on a specific part of the video. Let's first delete the previous effect. Now take the playhead to where you want to split the video and split. Then drag and drop the pan and zoom effect only on this part. This way you can zoom in or out and move the focus around without affecting the rest of the clip. The next one we want to try is the green screen effect. Drag and drop the effect in the timeline to use it. You can also change the other settings from the effect settings here. For example, when your background is black, white, yellow or other colors, you can click this pen icon to select that color that you want to remove. Let's check out some of the other effects. The AI recognition effect here is also pretty popular to automatically remove the background of a person. Let's apply it. See there? The background has been magically removed. And if you scroll down the effect settings, you'll see multiple pre-made backgrounds that you can use. If you want to import your own image to place as a background, then click on this local button to do that. Okay, what's the next effect on our list? How about the blur effect here? If you want to blur your background, then just drag and drop this effect onto the timeline. Demo Creator will automatically detect your face while blurring the background. Again, you can change the effect settings as you like. So on to the next one, it's the mirror effect. Let's apply it to our video. This effect can flip your media file by 180 degrees. You can also select whether you want to flip your file horizontally or vertically. The next effect is the border overlay. When you apply this effect, a list of overlays appear in the effects setting. Scroll down and select the border you like. And there are also options to change the color and size of your border overlay. Now let's move on to the mosaic effect. For all those who want to do some censorship in their video, mosaic is here to help you out. Drag and drop the effect on your video file in the timeline. Change its size and place it wherever you want on the video display. The options for changing the intensity, opacity and type of blurring are available here on the effect settings. The facial effect here is also in high demand among our customers. It gives some retouching features to make your appearance look a little better. These advanced settings of this effect will give you the power to change your face and make it look just like you want. Apart from these advanced effects, there are also other options here. You can see there are cursor effects, text behaviors and clip motion effects. Up next are transitions. Let's add another file in the timeline to see the effect of transitions clearly. You can click here to open the transitions. 
there are heaps of transitions available. When you drop down the picked transition, it'll automatically place itself on either the start or end of your video file. You can also add different transitions to the end of your files. So here we go with the preview. You can see how amazing these transitions work. You can also shorten it out so it's happening faster or lengthen it from here. Let's turn our attention to annotations now. The option for adding annotations is just next to the transitions. So if we click here, there are tons of preset text styles available. Now drag and drop the annotations to the timeline from the left property panel. Properly place it on your video and make edits from text settings here on the right side. If you don't want to add text, here are other options. The line and arrow and shapes sections also contain some unique but useful annotations. Click on captions and multiple features appear for adding captions to your video. And out of all these options, auto caption is the most helpful. Just hit this start to recognize button to produce captions from your voice automatically. Now let's move on to other captions. If we click here, all these are different styles to add openers to your video. And this section here allows you to add lower thirds. Let's just go with this one and see how it works. Here it's downloaded, add it to your video. Place it from the preview screen, and if you click on the text here, the text settings again appear on the right panel. Type here, change the color of the text if you want, and it's done. You can also grab its end to lengthen or shorten it. If you want subtitles on your video, you can do it here. Download the style you like and add it to your video in a similar fashion. And the last one is for adding end credits. Okay, let's turn our attention to some fantastic stickers. Again, we click here, and here are the stickers. There are many categories to choose from, like education, social media, vlog, gestures, etc. Scroll down and you'll see even more categories. Now we can select this sticker here and add it to our video. Whoa, it's covering the whole area, but don't worry. Click on it and we can easily resize it like this. You can also change its other settings from here. Next up, we'll be adding some filters. Open the filter section from here. Again, there are tons of filters available here. Let's select this category and add a filter to our video. Now shorten it if you want and play. And here are the effects settings. Now, if you're looking for special effects, there are a ton of theme effect packs in our SFX store. You can download them from this download icon and use them once they're downloaded. After adding all these things to your video, let's see how to do some basic editing. If you want to resize or crop your video, just click on the video file in the timeline or hit the crop button here. The advanced settings for cropping your video will appear on the screen. Crop your video how you want, then click the OK button here. Now for trimming the video, you need to take this yellow slider to the place where you want to cut the video file. You can also play your video from the preview and stop it where you want to cut the part. Now, if you click on this split icon, your video will be split into two parts at the point where it stops. Another quick method is to place the playhead over the clip that you want to split and click. If we take it a little forward and split it again, you see that a short piece of video has been cut in the middle. Just right click on this and delete it if you want. A gap has been created between these two parts of the video. Just grab this part and replace it to remove the gap. These two parts of the video will automatically be merged together. If you've recorded multiple small clips and want to group them together, you can do it in a similar fashion. Import those clips and place them one after another on the timeline like this. If you want to change the speed of your video, you can do it from the video settings. Click on your video in the timeline. Now scroll down the video settings from here and you'll find the speed settings. Finally, when you've finished all your edits, click on this export button in the top right corner to finish your editing. You can change the format and destination folder in which you want to save your video from here. Then we come up here and hit this settings button to further change other aspects of our video, like frame rate or resolution. You can easily reduce the file size by changing these settings. Now, all that's left to do is click the export button and you're finished. You've just learned how to create an awesome video. 
So go ahead and have a blast with your social circle. If you're still not satisfied, just come back here, make some changes and export your video again. And that's a wrap on our Wondershare Demo Creator editing tutorial. We hope that you found episode three for our ultimate user guide for beginners useful. Leave us a comment to let us know your thoughts. Next video, we will be talking about audio editing skills. Do follow our channel to get that information in time and I will see you soon.